Welcome back. Well, you've probably seen the new commercials. The Great Television's weekly show or weekday show, should I say, Investigate TV Plus. It began airing on stations across the country this week, and it's airing here on WLOX at 3.30 in the afternoons. The news magazine program is showcasing groundbreaking investigations, plus consumer health, in-depth, and inspiring stories. And this week's In Their Shoes, we travel to New Orleans to meet one of the hosts and learn what it takes to be an investigative journalist. Hey y'all, guess where we are today? We're over here at Fox 8 in New Orleans about to introduce you to the man of the hour. You've seen him on Investigate TV. You now see him on Investigate TV Plus. But how much do you know about Lee Zurich? Well, we're going behind the scenes to find out. Come on y'all. So you know what's really cool about this? What? People see you and they think, oh, this is the guy out of LA or this is this investigative reporter out of New York. But you're right here in New Orleans. Yeah, I mean, we're right down the road from you. This is where we record our, you know, our show, you know, every week, and we record a bunch of them together. This is where a lot of the, uh, the magic, if you will, is done. See the green wall, and then we put in our backgrounds and editing after it, yeah. They just pop up stuff, like right they here. pop up stuff pop. right there, pop it up, yes. And then pop. Yes. This is cool, because it's such an optical illusion, and I don't know if the viewers can see that at home, how it just looks like we're going into the abyss of green. It is, yeah, I mean, it, it is. I mean, just green there, and I mean, look how tall it is, too. This thing's huge. Yeah, I should get some pants this color. You should get some pants this color. They yeah. look good. Yeah, I think they, I think they would, they would. Yeah. I do. Okay, the lights, it's like the yeah, executive suites okay. up here. Yes. Yeah, so what's all this? Are, these are the Investigate TV offices here. Greg Phillips. 100,000 bears across this shaded area in North America. How do you pick the stories? We're looking at stories that, you know, are impactful or meaningful to people. Like, you know, what, what impacts your life? What can you relate to? Those are the types of stories that we like to pick and try to pick. Do you ever fear for your life? Um, I do not fear for my life. Look, most of the stuff we do, Everything's out there, everyone knows, it's buttoned up, we have documents to back it up. Most of the stories have been pretty high profile, so if something happened to me, people would kind of know, hopefully. So I, no, I, no. Maybe I should be, but no. <laughs> so then deal. you need to train me. How can I be an investigative reporter? You need to ask tougher questions. No, I'm just kidding. You asked some tough questions. The, 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 the question about fear for your life was good. And look, Sometimes that helps people because if you go into an interview with someone and there's a, it's a controversial story and you don't ask the tough question, then someone at home is like, well, he let him off the hook or he didn't even answer. Like, if you don't ask the tough question, you don't even know if they have a, a, an answer that is logical. McCoy, it's Hello, Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Are you happy today? What's a day like in your yeah. shoes? Take the viewer through this. I'm usually up 6:30. Um, breakfast with the kids, take my youngest to school, get a quick workout in, get to work 9.30. So this is the office. Oh, that must be the girls. Those are the two girls. And you're here all the way past the 10.30 so news. I anchor the five o'clock in New Orleans. I do work all day, then I'll run home for dinner and then I'll come back and then anchor the 10 o'clock news, nine and 10 o'clock news. You got some lights. This is a pool drain oh. for a story. <laughs> I saw that story yeah. where like some little girl had died yes, or something. Yes, do not put this in your pool. No. That's nope. a bad pool drain that we were able to order on the internet. You love this. It's a this. long day. No, it's, I do love what I do. Yes, I love what I do. Nice. Jordan you know, I've noticed that. something about you, Lee. What's that? You ask everybody questions. I do. I Are do. you that guy that like, goes to the grocery store and you're asking people in line questions? I'd rather ask than answer. Yeah. Yes. I can relate to that. You can relate to that, yeah. yeah. I'm going to turn the tables on you at some point. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, a very, long, very, very time. long time. I have to be under investigation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> May happen. <laughs> I don't want to wear orange. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stick with yellow That's and green. Good. Yellow and green's good. <laughs> Lee. Yes. Thank right. you so it much. No oh, it was great interviewing Thanks. with you. And yes. thank you for showing us your world. Of course. Anytime. Come on back to New Orleans. All right. All right. Now, if you don't know this, Lee is considered one of, the, one of New Orleans' most honored investigative reporters. And it's interesting to note, though, that he started his career in sports. He says it was Hurricane Katrina, though, that pushed him into hard news and helped him find his purpose.